So LCM is the lowest common multiple or the least common multiple. And multiples are when we grow numbers by multiplication. Okay, so I want to, I'm going to grow the numbers, whereas factors are breaking the numbers into smaller pieces. So we want to find the lowest common multiple of 14 and 21. And one way to do this is listing out the multiples. Okay, so I could just take 14 and 14 becomes 28 times 3 becomes 42, 56, okay, uh, that's going to be 70, etc. 21, I can list out those multiples. I end up with 42, okay, 63, oh, there it is. Though that is, I want to find the smallest common multiple. Okay, so 42 then works out to be the first multiple that I encounter. And it's important to know that although that's the first multiple, there are going to be more that are going to be common. So for example, if I kept on going 84, this one if I do 14, it's going to be 84. So there's another common multiple. In fact, I'm going to hit another common multiple when I hit, uh, it's going to be 98. Uh, 112, 126, okay, 126 will be the next one because this one's going to go to 105 and 126, okay, so we're going to, every 42, that least common multiple, okay, that multiple is just going to just keep on doubling and doubling and doubling until and we're going to just continue getting multiples, okay, so we want when we do this, we want the first common multiple, okay? and that's called an LCM or least common multiple. So there are some other ways to do this other than listing, because you can see that this, although this was easy for this one, if we have big numbers and we have to make long lists, it can sometimes be a bit inefficient. So we want to find some other methods. And I'll give you a hint. The other methods have something to do with the factors involved. Okay, so these factors involved here are 2, 7. This is 3 and 7, okay, and we have times 2 here, we have times 3 over here, okay, so something to do with those factors, okay, the prime factors allow us to find multiples. So what I would like you to do is I would like you to go to the activity, okay, at this website, and then what I would like you to do is do these problems by actually putting in the numbers and find the lowest common multiple using the factors. Okay, so find the lowest common multiple, and then you can see the prime factors. I want you to list out the write out the prime factors for this when you when you've seen it on this on the menu on the left. Okay, so uh, I'll give you a demo on this for the for the first one. 